Good morning, dear student. This is your science teacher, and today I am going to teach you science. I am. We uh, we will continue with our second chapter of science IIT that is force. Okay, and in this chapter we discuss on the force and where what is the role of force in our daily life. We already discussed, and today we continue with the same chapter from the next topic. Types of force. So there are basically force is divided into two categories: contact force, yes, it is contact force, and second category is non-contact force. Contact force means when uh, we apply force on any object by by the contact, by the touching, or by the uh, by the contact with any things. So when we apply or uh, when we pull or push the object by touching or by the contact, this type of force are known as contact force. And on the other hand, the force in which there is no need to touch the object, and it uh, this force is applied on the object. This type of force is known as non-contact force. For example, magnet. Okay, when we we take two magnets that have same pole, and when we take the both pole, the uh, both same pole towards to each other, so what is we see that the same pole of magnet repels each other, and when we take the when we take the different poles of magnet, so these are attracted to each other. So this type of force is known as non-contact. Force. So in the category of contact force, there are two types of force. First one is frictional force. Frictional means when we are moving or we are walking. So our shoe sole also um, we are able to move on the surface because of friction between shoes and ground surface. Okay. So it is the uh, uh, sorry frictional force. So there are very important example. Slide a box. When we try to push a box in this direction, when we try to push a object or slide a object in this direction, what we do? The frictional force on the ground between the surface of box, lower surface of box, and the ground, the frictional force works both between the both surfaces. If the surface is rough, then the frictional force is also high. This direction, okay. So it, here, the surface of the ground or the surface on which we are sliding the box, this play a very important role. If the surface is rough, then the frictional force is high, and if the surface is smooth, then it reduces the frictional force, and we are easily to slide the box. And the next one, muscular force. So as per the name here. Where we pull or push the objects, and using my muscles of animals, muscles of human being, we use. So this type of force we are called as muscular force. For example, pulling cart by a man. When a man pulls the cart, so it applies muscular force, muscles for muscular force. So this type of force to pull or to push the object is known as muscular. Gravity G means acceleration of the object. If we 
throw an object from a height. So this object going down towards the earth. So this object when moving from the hand. So it accelerates in the down direction. So this acceleration is G. When we multiply mass of the object and this acceleration of object. Okay. So the product of the mass and, grab, uh, and acceleration against gravity was the gravity is known as weight of the object. Okay, the second one magnetic force. So uh, I already give you the example of magnets, right? Two magnets. Suppose for example we have two bar magnets and here we take the north pole of the magnet, magnet and another magnet also have north pole towards the another matter, the another magnet. So when we slide this second magnet towards the north pole of another magnet, so what do you see? This magnet repels the other magnet. So this also moves in the same direction. Okay. If on the other hand, if we change the poles of the object of one magnet, so what do you see? Both magnets are attracted to each other. Electromagnetic force, the third one is electromagnetic. Force. Electromagnetic force means by rubbing or by electrically a force is created, it repels or attracts the objects is known as electromagnetic force. For example, electrically charged object. If we see in our form when we uh, set our gears by the drive without oil, uh, we are rub our gear uh, by the form, what we see? The comb attracts our hairs and when we take this comb into, uh, near to the dust, so what we see the dust is attracted by the comb. Why? Because why the rubbing, why the friction, comb is charged. So it attracts or repels the uncharged object or charged object. Okay, it attracts or it repels the object. So it is due to the electromagnetic force. And the next one, man, measurement of force. So how we can measure the force? We can measure uh, by a simple device or by a simple instrument that we call a spring. When we, uh, we have also seen the weighing machine uh, up to 5 kg or up to 10 kg that works on the basis of their spring. So if we want to measure the object, so first we standard the magnet and how much is the stress when 1 kg is weight and when, to, uh, when 2 kg is weight, how much strength is increased. So on the basis of this concept, we measure, first we fix the standard, then we measure the weight of an object by the spring. And the standard unit of force is very important. Every unit and every parameter needs what needs units to measure it? Okay, so SI unit, standard international units, system in international system of units. SI unit of the force is Newton. Newton name is given on the name of famous scientist Sir Isaac Newton. And in the MPS system of the units, standard units, the unit of force is kilogram meter per second okay i hope you understand if you have any doubts so you can ask good luck